Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. This video will demonstrate best practices for installing and aligning retro reflective photo eyes to reduce nuisance interruptions caused by environmental factors. The procedures demonstrated should only be performed by trained professional installers and service technicians. Safe operation and servicing requires that you follow all instructions and safety advisories found in the manual. To locate a trained professional installer or service technician, go to liftmaster.com slash locate a dealer. The LMR RUL kit includes a sensor with hood, mounting brackets for the sensor, a reflector with hood, a mounting bracket for the reflector, a wire cover plate, and hardware. The new mounting hardware helps you easily adjust the position and angle of the photoelectric sensor. This makes aligning the sensor easier than ever. You may choose to supply your own optional weatherproof conduit and connectors. If you do, be sure to use conduit with NEMA 4X compatible half inch by 14 NPT fittings. Here are some of the best practices for preparing your installation. Make sure there will be a clear line of sight between the sensor and the reflector. Clear away obstructions like tall grass. Follow UL325 guidelines for mounting no higher than 26 inches above ground level, and no farther than 5 inches from the vertical plane of the gate. Do not mount the brackets to surfaces that vibrate or are unstable. Do not permanently weld or screw brackets into position until after alignment is complete. If you're installing multiple sensors in close proximity, mount the sensors on opposite sides to avoid crosstalk. Follow these steps to assemble and mount LMR RUL Retro Reflector Kits. Before you get started, make sure the gate is in the fully open or fully closed position. Disconnect power to the operator. If the operator has battery backup, be sure to disconnect the battery power source by unplugging the wire harness from J15. The sensor and the reflector must be mounted vertically. Also, be sure to mount both out of the way of moving parts of the gate and traffic. Choose the mounting location where the sensor LMR RUL will be installed. Again, the sensor must be mounted no higher than 26 inches above the ground. We'll mount the bracket at 19 inches, well below the maximum height. The LMR RUL kit includes hardware for mounting, but you may choose to use your own. Attach the mounting bracket to the post with the word UP facing up. Use the provided hardware or hardware you've supplied. Slide the bottom sensor bracket onto the studs of the mounting bracket with the legs of the sensor bracket facing down, secure with the provided lock nuts. Loosely attach the top sensor bracket with the slots facing up. Use the provided screws. Feed the wire through the opening and place the sensor in the bracket. Tighten the screws just enough to allow the sensor to rotate inside the bracket. If you choose to use conduit, feed the wire through the conduit and attach the conduit to the bottom of the sensor. You must install the hood on the sensor. Slide the hood over the sensor until it snaps into place. Secure the hood with the M3 screw. Next, choose the position for the reflector. It needs to be a minimum of 3 feet and maximum of 50 feet away from the sensor. The reflector needs to be mounted at approximately the same height as the sensor. Measure to the top of the sensor and then use that height when you measure and mark where to position the top of the reflector. Mount the reflector bracket to the post. Place the reflector in the reflector hood. Secure the reflector and hood to the bracket with the provided hardware.
secure the bottom of the reflector to the hood using the provided hardware. Follow these steps to wire the sensor to the gate operator. The sensor has four wires, red, black, white, and green. The red and black wires connect the sensor to the main board or expansion board. To protect the open direction, connect to the open eye edge terminal. To protect the closed direction, connect to the close eye interrupt terminal. We've placed the sensor to protect the closed direction, so this is the wiring option we will use. Remove the terminal block and insert the wires from the sensor. The black wire connects to the negative close eye interrupt terminal. The red wire connects to positive close eye interrupt terminal. Secure the wires in the connector using a small screwdriver. Plug the terminal block back onto the board. The green and white wires power the internal heater. You may connect up to two sensor heaters to the accessory power connectors on the control board. Each heater draws 170 milliamps on 12 volt systems and 85 milliamps on 24 volt systems. Be sure not to exceed the 500 milliamp maximum load for the operator's accessory power. Additional sensor heaters must be wired to an external power supply of either 10 to 40 volts DC or 8 to 28 volts AC. We're going to connect to the accessory power on terminal. Remove the terminal block from the board. Insert the white wire into one hole and the green wire into the other hole on the connector. Polarity is not important. Secure the wires in the connector using a small screwdriver. Plug the terminal block back onto the board. Use of the heater is not recommended for solar applications. Now let's align the sensor. Reconnect power to the operator. The LMR RUL sensor both emits and receives a light beam. It has a red LED and a blue LED. The red LED indicates a misaligned or blocked sensor. The blue LED indicates signal strength. Slow blinking indicates weak signal. Fast blinking indicates stronger signal. Solid blue LED indicates optimal alignment. Adjust the position of the sensor until the LED is solid blue. When the sensor is optimally aligned, disconnect power to the operator again so you can safely complete the installation. Tighten the sensor bracket screws to secure the sensor in place. For extra security, tighten with the set screw until it grips the sensor. Place the wire cover onto the sensor bracket. Make sure the tabs on the wire cover slide into the slots on the top of the sensor bracket. Secure the wire cover with the provided hardware. The wire cover is not intended for use with conduit installations. Finally, restore power to the operator. It is strongly recommended that you test the gate operator to ensure that vibrations and gate movement do not cause changes in alignment. You should do this before welding or making any permanent connections. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit us on the web at liftmaster.com or the dealer extranet.